I study human-robot interaction, and that means I look at humans and try to understand human behavior and what kind of uh, signals people project in the world, and then I develop robot algorithms that respond to those human behaviors so that robots can be better collaborators and assistants to people. So we work with robots that help people often with some kind of impairment to fulfill everyday tasks. One example is a robot that helps people eat food. Um, in this case, if the robot can figure out what bite of food people are going for or what part of a task they're on, it can actually help them complete that task with less effort. Eyes are incredibly revealing. We use our eyes to interact with the world. We also use our eyes to manage social interactions and to express uh, different kinds of mental states. And so by looking at people's eyes, we can actually get a sense of what task they're trying to achieve, when they're confused, when they are part of a conversation, who they're listening to, when they're not ready to give up their speaking turn. There's a lot of information that eye gaze gives us. The challenge, of course, is using that eye gaze and trying to discern all of those different signals and make some sort of intelligent decision about what people are achieving with that eye gaze, what part of the eye gaze is actually relevant. I hope people realize that there's a huge future for robotics and we need to be thoughtful about the way we're directing that future. That robots actually have the capacity to provide tremendous good to people, but we need to understand the people in the system and all of the people in the system when we're building robots to actually act out in the world.